There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the clogging took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. We'll see about that. I have a good feeling Clockwork's gonna be put back together. Neela's probably gonna show up and try and ensure it. We're gonna find out that she's served under Clockwork her entire life or some shit. Maybe she just wants to take down Clockwork to prove herself or something. I, I'm not fully sure, but let's see what we have here. So we have Temporal Lock, freeze time around the guards, temporarily at least, press X to power, just the power up. Uh, use while carrying an enemy to create a deadly firestorm, and jump over vast distances. Ooh, that sounds good. So, is that an equipable up? Yes, it is. Jump over vast distances. Whoa! Yeah, that's alright. Look at this guy, he's got a big cannon on his back. Still capable of getting instant killed though. Look at that moon. Look at the cities below. Oh boy. It's kind of terrifying up here. And yet, it's a full on level. We, we have once again a whole bunch of bottles to collect and everything. Let's do some scouting first. I'll get the bottles later. Oh. Uh. Uh huh? I didn't know what that was gonna do. I was like, maybe it's like an elevator and it'll carry me around the map. False. Where does this go? Oh. <laughs> Nowhere particularly useful. Yeah, okay, game. But he got us to a bottle. That was really bizarre. I wasn't expecting to just get bounced off and still not even get the bottle. But I didn't touch it. It makes sense. No bottle up here. Really? Huh. It feels like this feral jump should have just been an upgrade for my full jump. But that's again me just living in the future. From when this game was released. I just want my sprint jump to be different from my walking jump. So it's like, oh, I'm running, and I'm getting a running start before I hop over, and that makes sense to me. But the game doesn't care. Look, I'm just saying, we've had running to make you jump further since like Mario Party 60 or not Mario Party Ma Super Mario 64 So that's a pretty good distance in time All right Air Force Get on out of here with that Now where am I heading Up here Yes I don't know how to get up there but I'll figure it out. What? Is that below me? Or above me? I guess it's below me. Aha! Yeah, okay! Just press the circle button a little bit more preemptively. We'll be fine. 
Okay, there's gotta be something that I can climb up onto, which will allow me to access the area above us. I'm just not fully sure what it is. I guess I could just try and get up there. All right. Dude, he's got fucking jetpack? That's pretty goddamn me though. Oh shit. I guess Arpeggio gathered an entire gang of people who can't fly. Yeah, oh god. I tried to use my electric attack on him, but just like all the other big targets with spotlights on their back, they uh they hurt pretty fast and at a good distance. Now how the hell do I get up there? Wouldn't it be great if I could slow down time and jump on these blades? I'm not gonna take that risk though. Aha! There's a ladder. Twenty bottles to go! Don't know where they're all gonna be! Uh oh. I just wanted your loot! Is he dead? Where'd he go? Huh. Maybe he's walking on the other side? I hear something over here. No. What's going on? Whatever, whatever, we're just leaving. This is definitely... An intense aircraft. When they said blimp, I didn't really think it was gonna be this huge. Or comprised of so many other blimps. And yet here we are. Oh, I hear that. There's a bottle to my left. And I'm curious to see if there's gonna be bottles up here. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I do see a bottle over to my left. Alright, fine. Let's do our mission before I scout too much of this blimp beforehand. inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. I mean, you say that, Sly, but... It's probably going to take us a while to actually get through here, just like it has for all the other places. Now how the hell am I supposed to get over there? Gliding? <laughs> Seems like a pretty big risk, but we can do it. Maybe... We should choose a different location for that, though. You see, I feel like if I glide from up top, we'll be fine, but I have no idea how to get up there. Or if it's even possible. I might just need to do this. Maybe I can land on the wing. Yeah, alright, this worked. And maybe there are balls over here. Because it seems like I could possibly run up top. Okay, maybe not. Never mind then. Clockwork so fast! 
calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. What about Neela? If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. What about Neela? I see her back there. And her scheming. Okay. Ooh, he's turning on around. your item. I thought he had an item, but I guess not. Damn it, don't defeat Capriccio's guards. We need to learn about his operation first. But he wouldn't know about it until later. Ugh. Fine. This is gonna be annoying. Okay. I need a picture of one of these as they f they pass on by. There we go. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. And what about mech eggs or mech eggs? Are they clockworks? Because then I have I have many questions. I have a lot of questions. What the hell? All right, boys, I need you to move your mech suit asses on. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Okay, they might just be bombs. Which is not a great thing to be happy about, but uh, it's... Better than the thought of Clockwork having offspring from his own eggs. Which is just, just, I just, it's just weird. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Yeah, he's probably Sly, keeping his brain. Voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Yeah, it's Arpeggio and Neela. The question is... Exactly uh, to what capacity has she been working with Arpeggio and the rest? There he is. The mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems. And then there's Neela. Who's also being pretty annoying to deal with. I can't believe it! photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. All right, well, I'll see how that's, uh, how we accomplish that. So that's what the shinies in their pockets have been about. The keys. 
Thankfully, Neela is looking this direction and can't see us through the kind of transparent door. So, that's been pretty nice. This is the real reason they didn't want me to take out the gods. Because I have to take their keys. Now, there's a little bit of logic in trying to keep low and not take out guards too early on. The problem is that we're probably going to take out hundreds of guards on this blimp anyways. So they're going to find out. It's hard to keep that shit hidden, you know? Alright, pal. I need you to begin your little patrol backwards, and then your key will be mine. Nice. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducers. The question is now, how do I do that? I see some jump platforms over to the left, so I could try that out. Whoa! Yeah, okay. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Alright. So I have to latch on to these things. I guess, as they spin by. Oh, boy. That sounds... terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, boy. So what happened to not being, uh... Or not, us not being discovered? Now that we have the keys, the game is just like, yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah, all right. Maybe I do this? Ah, uh, okay. That makes much more sense than what I was gonna try to do. You see, the front of these things had little... little sparkles on them, so I thought I was supposed to, like, latch onto the front of them or some shit. But no, I'm supposed to, like, wait until they're all the way at the top, and then jump onto them. Got you. Uh, which means I need to get over here. Hopefully this isn't a timed thing, otherwise I'll be in a little bit of trouble. So as they rotate upwards, I can jump on top, and that's all I need. Just sheer access. I thought I had to hold on to them the entire way through, and that would have been terrible. Boop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for the next one on this one. I was a little... A little out of sync. I'm surprised I had to reverse the polarity on every single one of these. Oh, Jesus. Can I make it up here in time? I really want to! Ah, it's not happening. All right. Damn it. I'd like to blame a little bit on it, not that it didn't be grab onto what I was trying to before and me falling all the way down. That definitely set me back. It's okay. Again, not timed. We'll be all right. Yeah, it'd be great to just throw everything out of whack by having some not have their polarities reversed. Oh, jeez, but this this is fine, too. What's all this, then? The magnets have been reversed. But... By Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent! Sly 
Koopa! Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Koopa. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa, what kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! <laughs> Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? Wait, did she just jump in herself? Oh. This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... No, oh, she just killed him. Holy shit, she squashed the little bird! Wow! Behold, Plakla is born! I'll be honest, I... I wasn't really thinking about them trying to make themselves into clockwork. What do we do about that? As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Okay, so we are still having to do our jobs on this blimp. I was wondering about that, because it thought 
It felt like we were about to get into a boss fight immediately. Like, oh god, we gotta fight Clockla and then take her down immediately. But no, no. We still have many things to do. All right, two slide jobs, one Murray job. Don't do that. And that means, of course, I can get back. Oh, apparently jump too. I can get back to hunting for bottles as I wander around this place. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? What is this thing? It's like little hover drones. Did that come from the egg? Hey, look at that. Okay. The eggs had little tiny robots inside of them, which makes sense. They were metal eggs, so I wasn't really expecting much else. All right, we've got half of the bottles. The problem is, this is a big bu- <laughs> That is a big blimp! Looking for the other 15, it's gonna take a lot of random wandering around. But, I'm ready for that. Oh shit! <laughs> I was looking in a different direction. 